Hi, this is Tim. And a common question I get is, how much does it cost to become a UL508A industrial control panel manufacturer? Well, the short and incomplete answer is $5,268 for your first year and $4,322 each additional year. Now let's break that number down and talk about some of the things that get overlooked. The first year you're gonna incur two costs, your UL on site training, which is $2,800, and your annual certification service fee, which will be $2,468. Also, I use the UL site training cost of $2,800. You can also have it done at your site for $5,500, plus the expenses of the UL and instructor. But I would strongly urge you to use the UL site training because you're gonna have some opportunities to visit one of their testing centers while you're getting your training, which is just a really cool place. Now, after your first year, you're gonna have an annual maintenance fee of $1,854. And you'll continue to pay your annual certification fee of $2,468. Now that gets you set up so you can put stickers on a UL panel, but there's some more expenses. Tools would be the first one. And while UL does not specify that you use any specific tools, they do say that components have to be installed using the manufacturer's recommended method. So if you're installing a wire ferrule, you have to use the wire ferrule manufacturer's recommended tool to crimp it with. If you're tightening a contactor down and they say that it needs to go to 11 inch pounds, then you have to use a torque wrench or torque driver to tighten that down. And since you have a torque specification, your wrench or driver has to be calibrated once a year to assure that it's within specification. The next price thing you need to think about is components. And this is one I disagree with most non-UL panel builders on because they'll tell you that if you build a UL panel, then the cost of all the components go through the roof. Well, if you look at most of your components, you're gonna find that they're probably already UL listed or UL recognized. And we're gonna hit that in another video. And you can find more information about UL control panels here. Till next time.